In mathematical logic, structural proof theory is the subdiscipline of proof theory that studies proof calculi that support a notion of analytic proof. Topic: <laughs> Analytic proof. The notion of analytic proof was introduced into proof theory by Gerhard Gensen for the sequent calculus. The analytic proofs are those that are cut free. His natural deduction calculus also supports a notion of analytic proof, as was shown by Dag Prawitz. The definition is slightly more complex the analytic proofs are the normal forms, which are related to the notion of normal form in term rewriting. <laughs> <laughs> Structures and connectives The term structure in structural proof theory comes from a technical notion introduced in the sequent calculus. The sequent calculus represents the judgment made at any stage of an inference using special, extra logical operators called structural operators. In a 1 a m b 1 b n Display style a underscore 1 dots a underscore m v dash b underscore 1 dots b underscore n the commas to the left of the turnstile are operators normally interpreted as conjunctions, those to the right as disjunctions, whilst the turnstile symbol itself is interpreted as an implication. However, it is important to note that there is a fundamental difference in behavior between these operators and the logical connectives they are interpreted by in the sequent calculus. The structural operators are used in every rule of the calculus, and are not considered when asking whether the subformula property applies. Furthermore, the logical rules go one way only, logical structure is introduced by logical rules, and cannot be eliminated once created, while structural operators can be introduced and eliminated in the course of a derivation. The idea of looking at the syntactic features of sequence as special, non-logical operators is not old, and was forced by innovations in proof theory. When the structural operators are as simple as in Getzen's original sequent calculus, there is little need to analyze them, but proof calculi of deep inference such as display logic support structural operators as complex as the logical connectives, and demand sophisticated treatment. Topic: <laughs> Cut elimination in the sequent calculus. Topic: Natural deduction and the formulae as types correspondence. Topic: <laughs> Logical duality and harmony. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hypersequence. The hypersequent framework extends the ordinary sequence structure to a multiset of sequence, using an additional structural connective, called the hypersequent bar, to separate different sequence. It has been used to provide analytic calculi for, e.g., modal, intermediate, and substructural logics. A hypersequent is a structure γ 1 delta 1 γ n delta n Display style gamma underscore one v dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore n v dash delta underscore n, where each gamma i delta i display style gamma underscore i v dash delta underscore i is an ordinary sequence called a component of the hypersequence. As for sequence, hypersequence can be based on sets, multisets, or sequences, and the components can be single conclusion or multi conclusion sequence. The formula interpretation of the hypersequence depends on the logic under consideration, but is nearly always some form of disjunction. The most common interpretations are as a simple disjunction. Gamma 1 delta 1 gamma n delta n display style big wedge gamma underscore 1 right arrow big v delta underscore 1 law dots law big wedge gamma underscore n right arrow big v delta underscore n for intermediate logics, or as a disjunction of boxes, white medium square, gamma, one, delta, one, white medium square, gamma, n, delta, n. Display style box big wedge gamma underscore one right arrow big v delta underscore one law dots law box big wedge gamma underscore n right arrow big v delta underscore n. For modal logics. In line with the disjunctive interpretation of the hypersequent bar, essentially all hypersequent calculi include the external structural rules, in particular the external weakening rule gamma 
1 delta 1 gamma n delta n gamma 1 delta 1 gamma n delta n sigma pi Display style frac gamma underscore one V dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N gamma underscore one V dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N mid sigma V dash pi and the external contraction rule Gamma one delta one gamma N delta N Gamma N Delta N Gamma One Delta One Gamma N Delta N Display style frac gamma underscore one V dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N gamma underscore one V dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N The additional expressivity of the hypersequent framework is provided by rules manipulating the hypersequent structure. An important example is provided by the modalized splitting rule Gamma one Delta one Gamma N Delta N White medium square Sigma Omega White medium square Pi Theta Gamma One Delta One Gamma N Delta N White medium square Sigma white medium square pi omega theta display style frac gamma underscore 1 V dash Delta underscore 1 mid dots mid gamma underscore n V dash Delta underscore n mid box Sigma Omega V dash box pi theta gamma underscore 1 V dash Delta underscore 1 mid dots mid gamma underscore n V dash Delta underscore n mid box Sigma V dash box pi mid Omega V dash theta for modal logic s5 where white medium square sigma display style box sigma means that every formula in white medium square sigma display style box sigma is of the form white medium square a display style box a another example is given by the communication rule for intermediate logic lc gamma 1 delta 1 gamma n delta n omega a sigma 1 pi 1 sigma m pi m theta b gamma 1 delta 1 gamma n delta n sigma 1 pi 1 sigma m pi m omega b theta Display style frac gamma underscore one V dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N mid omega V dash A Q quad sigma underscore one V dash pi underscore one mid dots mid sigma underscore M V dash pi underscore M mid theta V dash B gamma underscore one V dash delta underscore one mid dots mid gamma underscore N V dash delta underscore N mid sigma underscore one V dash pi underscore one mid dots mid sigma underscore M V dash pi underscore M mid omega v dash b mid theta v dash a note that in the communication rule the components are single conclusion sequence topic display logic topic calculus of structures Topic 
Nested sequent calculus The nested sequent calculus is a formalization that resembles a two-sided calculus of structures. 